Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you quickly and briefly and try to get to the point here on ghost racing on iRacing. I made uh, I make ghost racing videos quite often. Uh, more recently, I've moved those to Twitch. I might do one or two occasionally on YouTube, but on our Twitch channel, we have most of the practice in ghost racing and time trials and all of that stuff. And we're reserving the YouTube channel for mostly the race videos, the actual racing videos. But when I made the, the last ghost, I had a couple of people ask me questions about it, about how you get into ghost racing. Didn't quite understand how that's working. And uh, whether safety rating applies or I rating, any kind of I racing ratings. No, they don't. You cannot lose safety rating. You can't lose gain. You can't lose or gain any ratings. It's basically spectating. If you've ever spectated a race or watched a race, as they call it on iRacing, then you know what I'm talking about. So let's get right to it, and I'll show you how to do it. You got First of all, you got to find a race that's active. So you have to have an active race. We're looking right here at the ProLate model, which is one of the cars that I like to try to ghost race because I need more practice. And that's the thing about ghost racing is it's really good for practice. So now we see that the Dirt Car Pro Lay model fix is dropped down here, and it's almost two hours to the next race. But if I click on Dirt Car Pro Lay model right here, it opens the, the uh, series window, or the sessions window, I guess it is, and we see the races right here. And actually, no, those are practices. Um. There it goes. Okay. Now, as the race goes active, you'll see these watch, these blue watch buttons on the right. All you got to do is pick which one you want. Now, the lower numbers are the higher split. So, 308 is the high split. And 309 and then 310 is going to, 310 is going to be the bottom split. So, what you want to do is pick your split. If you feel like, hey, I want to try to run with people that may be more competitive with me do matchmaking in your head now i what i want to do and this is a suggestion is get in the top split so i can observe what the fast guys are doing that's what we all want to be fast and that's why we're doing ghost racing it's fun too so you got to get there and you got to click join and you got to wait for it to load of course uh, just a few seconds so it's it's a good way to practice. It's a good way to see how you stack up against other racers without actually joining the race and uh, potentially embarrassing yourself and others or messing up somebody else's race. If you don't feel... all that confident about it you can certainly ghost race now basically all this is is like i went in you saw i went in to watch but up here at the top i have a button see that button that's the test drive button and if i click that button of course i go to test drive i've got my aspect ratio i got my screen held down so you can actually see it a little better for this so I won't be, I won't be test driving right this moment, maybe after a few minutes. But that's all you do, and you get out there and you test drive, and of course, you can't run into any cars. You can hit objects, you can hit walls, you can hit the tires on the inside. You can run into things, but you can't hit other cars. You'll just go right through them, like when you're in, it's similar when you're in the pits and you ghost through another car, or one goes through you. Same thing. I like the icy colors, and I like the uh, I like the look of that. It looks good. Icy and icy hot back there on the back. How about that? Clever. Okay, that pretty much does it. That's all you got to do. You just click test drive and go drive. You know, and you can uh, you can try to kind of run with the pack. It's a little. 
tricky sometimes because you'll ghost into another car or right up on the back of another car and the big spoilers up in front of you the big back end of the late model or whatever you're behind will block your view so it's a little tricky sometimes but it's a great way to practice it, it gets you comparing what you're doing to others and also you can see what the track's going to do in a, in a typical race you run a couple three of them you, you'll know pretty much what the track's going to do in the race and uh, unless you get some weird pre-gen which sometimes happens and you'll still be able to pretty much estimate what's going to happen okay guys appreciate you watching hope it helps if you have any questions Put them in the comments. I'll read every comment. And I reply to many of them. So feel free to comment. And I will see you soon at the track.